We begin tonight with the end of a search that's captivated Canadians and consumed historians since the mid-1800s. HMS Terror, the last missing ship of the doomed Franklin expedition, has finally been found. It appears to be in pristine condition. Eerie underwater images show the ship's mast still standing and a trove of historical artifacts inside. The terror was discovered in the icy waters of Nunavut on the south shore of King William Island in the aptly named Terror Bay. It was a tip from this man, Inuit crew member Sammy Kovic, whose local knowledge proved invaluable. CTV's John Venavalli Rao has more on the significance of the discovery and why solving one mystery has raised another. The images are simply stunning. A ship's helm in remarkable condition and nearly pristine wood planking. On the bow of what researchers are convinced is the long-lost HMS Terror, the big missing piece in the puzzle of the Franklin expedition. I'm on the flybridge of the research vessel Martin Bergman. Adrian Chimnowski is with a privately funded group, the Arctic Research Foundation. He, along with a small crew, including Navy personnel, made the incredible discovery more than a week ago, keeping it a secret until now. It's been extremely, extremely exciting. Uh, we are giving a lot of high fives. We have moments of tears in our eyes. The terror was one of Sir John Franklin's two ships that vanished back in 1845 during his famed attempt to find the Northwest Passage. Two years ago, the larger ship, HMS Erebus, was discovered. And now this appears to be the terror, 24 meters down, almost entirely intact. Wine bottles and plates spotted inside. This, a bell on the ship. You could ring that bell. It's made of brass and... and uh, it is perfectly preserved and it will just ring the same sound it did 160 some years ago. What you're seeing here is uh, the video display. The crew compared the wreckage to drawings of HMS Terror and they match up. It was found about 90 kilometers south of where searchers thought they'd find the wreck, raising doubt about the original theory that Franklin's ships got stuck in the ice and that his crew abandoned them never to return. That begs a question as to whether the ships uh, both were re-manned and were actually sailed in some way or piloted uh, further to the south. This group happened upon the site because of one crew member in particular, local Inuit resident Sammy Kovic, who was fishing seven years ago when he noticed a curious piece of wood. As I was getting off the snowmobile, I looked at my left, and there was something weird sticking out of the ocean on ice. Kovic mentioned the story to Shimnowski, who diverted the research boat to take a look. What they found was a ship with all three masts broken but standing and hatches closed, suggesting the crew of the Terror may have buttoned down the vessel for the winter. Meanwhile, Parks Canada said it is excited by the reports and currently working with its partners to validate the discovery. But Lisa, that crew is convinced it is HMS Terror. Wow, so exhilarating for the crew, John. But let's talk about Sammy for a moment. What an amazing story. He saw this piece of wood seven years ago. Why do you know, why didn't he say something sooner? Well, yeah, he was out on the ice. He saw that wood sticking out. He took some pictures of it at the time and apparently lost his camera on the way back. He thought that was a bad omen, so he decided to keep the story to himself. He became a crew member on this vessel, the Martin Bergman, got comfortable with them. They got comfortable with him. He then relayed the story to them. They diverted their vessel into Terror Bay, and sure enough, they found that piece of wood and more than that, thinking that piece of wood may well have been a mast on the Terror. Unbelievable. It's all about trust. John, thanks for this tonight.